Let's learn to make a flow chart in Visio 2019. We can get to a flow chart template a couple different ways. One is we can go to categories and click on flow chart, or you can just type in the word flow chart and you can see all the different options that come up. You see, there's a lot of different flow charts here. And these templates are really helpful because they do a lot of the work for you ahead of time. Let's choose the basic flow chart, and we're just going to create a blank one. And there's our blank flow chart. Now, a flow chart is not the same as a decision tree, but you can use a decision tree inside a flow chart if you'd like. So a decision tree would be something like this. We start out with our start end, and then we ask a question in our process, and then we make a decision to go one way or another. So you see the start end button is always uh, this particular shape that you see here. And then the square is the process. So, you know, what, what are you going to do next? And the decision yes, no is here. So a uh, decision tree can be a flow chart, but a flow chart isn't always a decision tree, if you get my meaning there. So let's get rid of that particular decision. And now we're going to go with some processes. So we're going to drag out several processes. Then we're going to drag out some sub-processes as well. There we go. And then we're going to have an end. So you have to have a start and an end. So let's say that this particular uh, flowchart that we're going to create is going to be shipping a package. So I'm going to go to Insert Text Box. And I'm going to put in shipping a package. Now this text is really tiny, so I'm going to highlight the text, go back to home, and just keep, keep clicking the uh, larger A there to keep increasing the size. The other issue is that these are kind of hard to see. So let's change this, this to something that we can see a little bit better. As you scroll over, you can see the different color schemes that come up. So I'm going to choose this one with the green and the red. And we're going to double click on our start. And we'll say start shipping process. There we go. And if you want to zoom in at all on this, you can hold down the control key and zoom up with your mouse button or just click on this plus button in the lower corner there. There we go. Now it's a little bit easier to see. So start shipping process. We'll say something like uh, mailing label attach. And then we'll say scan box. And then we'll say way box. But with our way box, we may have a weight limit here. So we'll say over 70 pounds. Dump. We say under 70 pounds, ship. And then we have the end where we go to ship. So if we say we have too much weight in our box, it exceeds whatever limits that we have, uh, then it's going to have to be dumped, maybe broken up into smaller pieces, and then moved on. So we're going to have to create another. Uh, end point here. So I'm going to copy the ship and I'm going to right click and paste. And we're going to say, double click on that and say, don't ship. There we go. Now we want to connect all these guys together. So once again, we'll go back to the home and this time we'll click on connector. So I'm going to click on the first box with my left mouse drag it over. There it is. Now I'm going to click the second one and drag it over. Then the third. Now i got to have two, right? So i got to go one here. And i got to go one over here. And now i got to go to the don't ship and then the ship. All right. So now that I've got this set up, maybe I might want to change a few things such as I may want to change the shape. So let's say the way box one is now 
going to be a decision, right? Because it's going to be over 70 or under 70. So I'm going to change that to the triangle because we're going to have a decision that needs to be made. So this is how a flowchart ends up becoming a partial decision tree in this particular case. You could also have it loop back to uh, where it started. So instead of saying don't ship, I could go in and change the shape. And we'll say return to beginning after breakup. And then I can highlight that, go to my connector, and return to the beginning. There it is. And to finish this all off, I could go to design and put a nice background in there. There we go. And say, hey, you know what? This text no longer is a good contrast. Let's highlight that, right click, cha change the color. There we go. Now we've changed the color of the box itself to white so it makes a good background. Or I could change the font color either way. So when I'm done, I can save this as a Visio document or I can go in and save this as a JPEG. And a JPEG is a little bit easier because people don't have to have Visio to see it. So you do Save As, Browse, and then hit the drop down. And then here's where you can save it as a JPG, GIF, you know, something else. Or you could just save it as a Visio drawing as well. So that's how we create a flowchart and decision tree in Visio 2019 Professional.